Hey guys, Cyclomania here. Uh, ready to shoot an update on the saltwater tank. I went ahead and installed the 70 gallon sump. Um, no laughing. <laughs> uh, this is not going here. I'm just uh, using this to basically uh, clean all the algae out of the water and uh, then I'll throw a 90 here and put a filter sock. So this is not staying here. So nobody laugh or anything, but uh, that stuff's just, uh, it's called bio blocks. They're pretty much just like bio balls and uh, they just uh, basically filter it all, all your water out. <sighs> but uh, I just threw it on there temporarily because I have so much algae on the top of the water and uh, it's just uh, cleaning it all up. But uh, as you guys can see, uh, what I did is behind this no trespassing sign, I uh, cut a square in the hot tub and uh, sawed all the uh, foam insulation out. Looks real good back there, but uh, basically I just ha uh, put a cover on there. I don't know if I can... Uh See in there, but uh, let's go ahead and put that back before I mess something else up. But uh, I went ahead and installed this that way, I can uh, go ahead and build a, a refugium over here. I can uh, basically ha have a place for my protein skimmer. Um, I got a uh, pump on here. Uh, as you can see, it ain't uh, cycling that much water because I, I want this uh, area to be full of live rock. And uh, basically, I want my water to chill here for a while before uh, it goes back into the hot tub. So this is going to be a good, uh, I think, a good uh, refugium. Um, it's 70 gallons, and I probably got about 60 gallons worth of water in there. Went ahead and uh, moved my float switch that I had over there. I went ahead and installed it over here, so that's running, turned out real good. Um, I still got to paint this board black. Um, I'm going to move one of these heaters over here with the temperature probe. Um, I still got to do that. I'll go ahead and probably zip, zip tie that stuff down to there. But uh, I'm also going to throw a 90 here and then a 45. Then another 45 and a 45 back in here and I'll run this outside so uh, when I do my water change outs I'll just have to open up that ball valve and send it down the driveway uh, so um, I'm real happy to get that done I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did here it's an inch and a half bulkhead and uh, I did have it without the 90 and uh, you know it looks cleaner that way but I, I think this is the smartest way because I can uh, I can change my water level almost uh, I can drop it six inches if I wanted to or raise it six inches so it's real nice to uh, basically if I wanted to I can raise my water level all the way up to there but uh, I just have mine set right there which uh, works good for me and uh, it's skimming the surface now, which is nice. Uh, you know, I also have this whole filtration system over here with about 70 pounds of live rock and uh, my carbon reactor. So uh, this is all uh, internal uh, intakes down below underneath the water. So that turned out really good. Um, I went ahead and uh, kept the two jets in the back and uh, this one's just sitting in there but I took this one off and I took this one off and uh, I'm getting so much more flow in there there was sediment on this bench and sediment down there it's completely gone so uh, I'm glad to get that done there's the uh, return from the sump nothing special these are all parts that I just had in a sump so that's kind of why I have a coupling there and you know it's just kind of put together you know I might change it down the road but uh this is probably my favorite 
thing out of the whole entire hot tub. Um, I do a lot of thrifting, and I found this at a thrift shop. Um, I have no idea what it is. All I know is that this thing spreads out and goes back in. It looks like this is supposed to hold like a bar of soap or something. But I thought uh, this would be perfect for fragging. Um, I went ahead and zip tied it to my drain down below, which uh, is very stout. And uh, basically, I have these uh, two chambers right here that I figured that I could throw mushrooms in here and, and throw some, you know, soft corals and everything in here. It could attach to a rock, and then I can pull that rock out and basically lay it on the rack. Uh, this area right here is pretty cool for, uh, you know, sick corals. You know, corals I'm trying to protect. You know, not so much fragging because I don't want to be fragging in my in my water and, and having the toxins go throughout the water. But uh, I don't know. I could put a fish in here if I had a sick fish. But uh, it's it's kind of cool. It's like a little workstation, and uh, I like how it turned out. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a bar stool here, a swivel chair, so I can uh, work right here on uh, whatever I got to do laptop wise fragging wise and then I can come over here and do some stuff so but uh tanks coming along really good um, I do have a slight problem guys and I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do about it um, I checked my phosphates coming out of the RO unit they were zero or point zero one and uh, then I checked my phosphates in my RO reservoir. They were 0 0.2. Then I checked my phosphates in my hot tub. And uh, first test, it was 0. Point, or 0 0.045. And second test, it was uh, 0 0.65. So... Uh, I'm not too good on my phosphates. Now I went to my local fish store, Oasis, and uh, you know I was talking to the owner there, and he was telling me, um, "Hey, maybe it's your hot tub, maybe your plastics leaching uh, stuff out of it, or uh, maybe uh, maybe the paint that you had in there is giving off phosphates." Um, long story short, I called Sonoma, which is the the maker of this hot tub. I'm waiting for a call back from them, but uh, from what I've heard from all the hot tub people, this doesn't contain that uh, special additive that keeps mold from growing, so uh, that's a good thing. Hopefully uh, this is the one that doesn't have it, but uh, what it could be is the live rock is what uh, my buddy John was saying at Oasis, that uh, adding 70 pounds of live rock that was sitting in a bucket and uh, thrown into a new aquarium in total darkness. I'm changing uh, basically uh, the things that grew on there because of light, you know, probably aren't growing anymore, so I'm getting dead organisms. So what I'm hoping is that's the reason why I have such a, a spike in my uh, phosphates. Um, I still have some more reading I got to do on it, on uh, the link that he sent me on how to extract that phosphate out the best way. Uh, I don't really want to purchase a, a phosphate reactor, but I might have to. But uh, long story short, I'm going to remove all of the phosphates and uh, hope to God that they don't come back right away, which means uh, that, I, that maybe my hot tub's uh, leech in something. But uh, from, from what I understand, um, I'm hoping that it's just my live rock die off. But... Uh, that's about all that I got to talk about on this video. Um, I've lost two mollies, unfortunately. I had to rework my drainage drainage system. Uh, my drain sucks so fast um, that uh, two of them got stuck on the side of it and obviously couldn't get out of there, so I had to change it from one drain to three drains and uh, a total of six drains that kind of separate or spread out that sucking uh, power from that pump and uh, haven't lost any fish since then but uh, everything else is going real smooth guys um, I hope you guys like the res install it's not done yet 
and uh, once I get this goofy little thing out of here, I think it'll look a lot better. And uh, I'll go ahead and throw a piece of egg crate right there in the center and fill this whole chamber up with live rock and uh, basically have the uh, protein skimmer uh, basically uh, starting once I get the MaxiJet uh, 1200 or 1500. I oh, 1200. I got to order that. And uh, then I can start skimming, which would help me get my phosphates out. I went ahead and ordered some, uh, or picked up some chia right there, or Cheeto, whatever you guys call that. And uh, I just put it right there under the 65K for now. And uh, eventually I'll, I'll start the refugium over there. But I'm hoping that extracts some of my phosphates. Um, let's see.